parents takes children out of school after image of prophet is shown in assembly. A Muslim parent is refusing to send his children to school after a teacher mistakenly displayed an image of the prophet Muhammad in assembly. Religious leaders are now calling for calm after the incident at Hunter's Bar Junior School in Sheffield, for which staff have since apologized. But furious Atif Muhammad has rejected the apology and demanded that the deputy head, who he believes accidentally displayed the image, steps down. The school has said that a teacher was left mortified by the genuine mistake. Islam forbids all kinds of pictorial depiction of Muhammad or any other prophet as they are taught to encourage the worship of idols and are seen as an insult to the religion. The image was shown in a presentation celebrating the achievements of children during the holy month of Ramadan. It comes just over a month after his school in Berlin, West Yorks saw hundreds of protesters campaign, sorry, camp outside after a teacher showed a cartoon mocking the prophet. But religious leaders have asked parents to accept the apology made by the school after it launched an investigation into the incident. Mr. Muhammad said his children will not attend school until the matter is resolved, saying other parents will join the strike. He said, I am not letting my kids to school until the matter is resolved. I believe unawareness needs to be out there for that to happen. Otherwise, it is going to get brushed under the table again. The Federation of Monks has asked parents to accept the apology made by the junior school. The statement reads, The school has been in touch with parents and with community leaders and sincerely apologized and accepted the mistake they made. They have announced an independent inquiry as well. They are asking for help to rectify the mistake. Therefore, it is our duty to guide them to the right direction and enlighten them with Islamic teachings. We ask you to accept the apology and let them complete the inquiry. Head teacher Michael Watson said, I offer my heartfelt apologies for the upset uh, cost. I have been meeting and working with the children, parents and staff affected alongside other members of the Muslim community to do what we can to put this right and we will continue to do so. We will conduct a formal investigation into how and why the incident occurred and establish findings and actionable recommendations. I want to reassure our Muslim community we are doing all we can to find a fair and just way forward, said. Islam is satanic religion. People are reacting. Actually, no one, nobody has an image of the prophet of Islam. All the descriptions of the images shows do not actually belong to the prophet Muhammad. With all this self-righteousness, where is your place in the kingdom of God? If you think that by defending religion, you will be accepted in the presence of God, you lie. No amount of religious practice will make you a friend of God, never. Where are you? Where are they getting the images from? People should stop to offend other sensibilities. That is fanatism of the highest level displayed by the teacher and it should be dealt with accordingly. What in religion they call say? Now wow, sure. Someone just dropped that too. I pity England for allowing Muslims to take over their land. In 20 years from now, England will know how far jealous religion is Muslim. <laughs> All right, so someone said, how do they know the image is his? 
and how can it be accidentally displayed in a Muslim UK classroom? Accidentally. Mistake how Christians creating troubles. Now, wow. Muslims should send the children to only Muslim schools now. Why are they disturbing others? For goodness sake, they should live their own life and leave other religions alone. People are still reacting and they are still talking. All right, brainwashed is dangerous and the worst part of the humanizing is a situation where you cannot control your mind and thoughts, but someone else does in, in the name of religion. It's a pity even in the 20, 20, 21st century. Indeed, this is nonsense. Let him remove his children from the school if he cannot accept the apology. Do they preach forgiveness at all? Let them not get to school again. <laughs> it's left for them. Rubbish. But let's face it. Are the children going to school because of Mohammed or they are there to learn of every educational aspect? Why make a big deal of the Muhammad when himself has never complained about this or in image or whatsoever? But on the other hand, he says them the the British right. Their, their sins are befalling them now and slowly. Since when did Muslims become dominant in the activities of British schools? He said, Hi guys, I'm gonna drop it here for now. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much bye for now